Why did you start doing porn? Um. <laughs> I never know the answer to that question. Really? I just like one day I think I was like 14 <clears throat> and I just like got the idea and I was like I'm going to do that. No way. But <laughs> yeah. surely you were How's that possible? <laughs> weren't you like conscious of what people would think of it? Like you happened to come out successful. I I feel like I knew that I was going to be though. Like just at 14 I was just like you're going to be like the number one porn star do it really yeah. damn you had that she had she thought yeah, about the much, same way you did of being the number one entertainer crazy yeah pretty much like everything jesus Christ. wow seems like a wild time for a phone call yeah sorry pretty much like everything that i knew that i was gonna do with my life whenever i was younger like happened like exactly like it's kind of weird the manifestation yeah. i'm just so worried about the people who have like that goal in mind or uh, and then it a large like goal a massive happen. goal like that and it does not happen like you got you got uh, lana but you're the, you're gotta, a point zero 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 one percent when they it, have they have to like know that it's like not gonna happen how did like, you I know was, that I was at just, 14 i was just though. like yeah, one, i was saying. just like 110 percent sure like my guidance counselors in school my therapist was like that's not a good idea like you can't do what? that you told, you told wait, them <laughs> wait wait yeah. you said you were still but were you still a virgin at this point yeah i was so it didn't make sense at all like i hadn't even had my first kiss oh, and you wait why did you tell your uh, guidance counselor at school because they're they're like don't you want to focus on school? Like, don't you want to go to college? Like, you're going to be a loser. Like, you're not going to have any money. You're not going to do anything. And I was like, no, I'm going to do this, this, and this. And they're like, well, that's not going to happen. Plus, like, you probably need therapy because who should do porn? Whoa. Yeah. What the fuck? How would you know that you would even... That's... I feel like I'm missing, like, a, a key uh, pocket of your life that would maybe explain a little bit more it's probably the thing that she's not talking about. probably yeah <laughs> which is yeah. which is fine because i've always been intrigued by this and by how how you got to where you mm. were because you also have this like hustler mentality where you quite literally like gamed the fuck out of the system and you still are today i don't know i just wake up every day and like work towards things so what I though is it is it what are you chasing money is it uh, right now i'm kind of like like i was just telling you about this the other day like i'm sort of feeling down because mm. I feel like eventually you get to a point where you're like already on a high level and then it's like, what do I do next? Yeah. And I like having a goal and waking up every day and working towards something and I just don't have that right now. And it's making me feel a little like down and depressed. What about a goal of just maintaining happiness? Well, I think but she's saying I that think, that think happiness it, comes from... Yeah, it comes for me. It comes from success and like achieving things. And I mm. feel like if I think too much about <clears throat> happiness, then I'll be more depressed and sad this this feeling is not uncommon dude like we talk about it all the time steve weatherford talked for, for talked about it when he came on our Absolutely. podcast he, he won the super bowl and he was in the locker room and he's like and then it's over well like, now what do I do yeah now? that's it and, yeah. then, and then he stopped playing football and start, became a motivational speaker tyson fury won all the championship belts won he was at the top and it's like now what then it, then he yeah. fell into a massive hole of depression and drugs yeah i honestly think like the climb to get to where you want to be is like the happiest so time. fun so fun and then, yeah and then once you get it it's just like you just wake up in the morning and you're like what's my fucking purpose interesting i told her to pick a new <clears throat> a new goal because but obviously what do i do like Honestly, like the higher you get in your career, just in life, like you have less goals to choose from. And it's like, what is actually a realistic goal? Cause you're, you are you, I mean? are you, uh, do you have any projects you're working on or anything, any endeavors that are undergoing in your life? Nothing that I'm like really excited or like passionate about. You, maybe, maybe, maybe try to get one and advice I for anyone listening think, as well. Sometimes like it'll just like pop in and mm. then I'll be like, okay, that's it. But I haven't had any of those like moments mm. lately. She started shooting some YouTube content. No, it's uh, not for YouTube. It's for Pornhub. Uh, but originally it was going <laughs> <but> it, <laughs> to. <laughs> it's like, it's like YouTube content, but then it has sexual. Tell, tell them about it. it. Um, basically I decided to start shooting some vlogs. Taking Por some inspiration from you guys. <laughs> porn vlogs? Yeah, porn vlogs. And then like I'm mixing like sex in with it. But it's not like it's like it's like her and girls and toys. Like Wait, it's so it's you, all girl so and girl. You're having sex with other women? Um this sounds so bad, but I I'm really like bored of like doing sexual stuff on camera. And so it's mostly I'm inviting young girls who are still <laughs> excited about having sex on camera. <laughs> and then I have them do the 
flashing and sex on camera and i'm just i just basically direct them really yeah she's like oh my friend she'll like be doing a vlog she'll have <laughs> breakfast she'll take her shower <laughs> And but then, like, some girl will stop by, and that they'll be the one that like interacts sexually, and so that goes on porn. But the thing, the thing is, is I uh, the other day she had been talking about doing YouTube stuff as well. And if you look at, especially the vlog that I put out, if you're watching this on Thursday, on Tuesday, two days ago, she took over the vlog at one point. It was Welcome to the Lana Show, and I, I, I wish I could even, I should pull this up part up because it's so crazy how good she is when she gets rolling. It's just. I think like a lot of people. Oh, I know. Out, I know. I think a lot of people out there watching this right now can relate to being uh, shy or or when you first get put onto something to having to feel it out. But she's great on camera. I mean, she's great on. Yeah. I don't want to say I she's great on camera because most of the people watching this know that, but <laughs> in a different respect. <laughs> it's different whenever I'm recording stuff for your vlog, though. Whenever it comes to like mine, I'm like. Oh fuck! What do I do? It's it's so much harder, right? Yeah, it's so much, it's different. So much harder. When, I feel like because you overthink it. So it's much. Well, so much. You have to. You're, you're thinking about everything, and yeah. you you sort of have to. Like you think about like the for lighting, me anyways, the story, or, the lighting, like yeah. how you're gonna edit it. Because you you did a. Uh, I saw Mike show me that cut you did. That jump cut, uh, we threw the clothes at the girl, oh, and the she was all, so, all of a sudden yeah. in it. Like it's it's cool that you're like not just uh, point and shoot all the time. Um, and there's actually like a strategy that goes behind it.